Hey. Yeah, pay on time, you wouldn't have this problem. Paperwork seems to be in order, but it doesn't matter. I can't let you take it. Why? Because it's on private property. When it's on private property, he's in possession. He's still the legal owner. It's a technicality. You can't recover it. Oh, damn. Sorry? Yeah, we'll be back. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Good luck, fellas. <laughs> can't wait till Lloyd breaks his ass back here. <laughs> Looks good, Lily. Record time, too. Thank you. Now, you missed a few shows a couple weeks back. I hope you're fully recovered. I am. I just had a bad case of flu. Because if we don't get our ratings up, we may have to reevaluate whether this segment is working. Are you telling me my job is in jeopardy? I'm telling you that you haven't had the most professional conduct lately. Tardiness, absence. I don't know what's going on with you. But that's not my concern. Well, you know, Mr. Dobson, I pride myself on doing a good job. Good. when our judgment came in. Your turn. Um. Thanks. You said you were taking a personal day, but... Oh, hey. You got the bowling alley, you're wearing jeans. I'm not gonna answer it. No, go ahead, go ahead. You won't be able to concentrate, and they want to beat you. You'll have an excuse. In your dreams. <laughs> Terry, you may be able to intimidate me, courtroom. Yes, and the golf course, and the tennis court, and the kitchen. Ah, you've been boasting about your culinary skills since our first date, but with well, no evidence. So I'll cook tonight. Because after this, you're going to need something to build up your strength. Well, you know my ultimate test is biscuits. Well, that's easy. It's cooking 101. Excuse me, Terry? Terry, hi. I know you didn't want to be interrupted, but uh, these need to be in the mail by noon, and they need all the partner signatures, if you could do. Um, Charles, you remember Gloria? Again, a pleasure. Okay. Did you add clause 17B? I did. Pirelli reviewed it and modified the previous page. Charles, just, just go with me. I'm gonna go back to the university. No, 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 no. This, this will only take a second. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. All right. There's a modification there. Okay. Go and eat. Great. I'll take off. So, Charles. I'm sorry. Hi, CJ. Miss Johnson, I'll be right with you. Missy? I need you to do me a huge favor, please. Can you take Miss Johnson? You know, Bird, maybe it's time you officially passed over some of your clients to me. Look, Missy, I'm just running a little late, okay? I don't need you to tell me how to run the show. Check the book. Oh, I must have missed that. Hey, how about I take CJ? Diane was going to leave, but I'm sure she'll stay for Mrs. Johnson. And you can do Malik. Thank you, Nisi. Take care of his fine ass myself. If you want You know, I must confess, I really don't need a haircut. You seem pretty upset when you gave me back the plane tickets to New York. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. You're fine. No, I am. I am, really. I don't believe you. So again, how are you doing? I am hanging in there. Hmm. Hanging in there is okay. good. Are you sure you want me cutting your hair? Mm, well, you know, friends do let friends do crazy things. If you mess it up, uh, <laughs> I guess I can always shave it off. Oh, I'd love to see that. Oh, yeah. Aren't you glad we made up? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love watching you bag it. What do you think? I like the movie, but the director jerked the camera around so much it made me sick. That camera move is called a swish pan. Mm. It's, uh, 
Pretty good excuse for not wanting to cook. Wait a minute. You're the one who wanted to go to the movies. It's the only place I could get you to turn your cell phone off. Fine. You want me to cook? I'll cook for you tomorrow. What do you like? You make biscuits? <laughs> yes, I make biscuits. Good. Oh, I can't tomorrow. Uh, this student group is honoring me with a Lifetime Achievement Award. I wish I could get out of it, but... Why? You don't like awards? No, it's just I feel they're giving me the annual Old Folks Awards. Oh, you're sensitive about your age. What are you? About 60? Well, you look good for your age. You just no gray hairs, no receding hairline. Those aren't dentures, are they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I turned 40 in October. Really? You know, they say that once a man hits 40, he's lived his life, he's gained wisdom and confidence. And makes him very attractive. Thanks. But you're only 39. Funny. And if you need a younger woman to hold your hand tomorrow... I'll ask my daughter. <laughs> You're funny. I'd love to be your date. You mean I'd be lucky enough to see the senior partner, Bert Willis, two nights in a row? But you'd have to put your biscuit order on hold. I can't believe you have me making biscuits. What? Next thing you know, you'll have me in an apron and frying some chicken. Mm. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Yeah. yeah. Barefoot, uh, fried chicken... Kenny, when are you going to tell me how we poem went today? Well, Maxine, we just got started. Well, a girl at my job said that her uncle used to do it. And it can be dangerous. Oh, well, it's not that big a deal, okay? Kenny, people don't want you taking their cars, even if they're not paying for them. Hold on, Maxine, there is a method, all right? Trust me. I'll get it. I need a bathroom break anyway. Again? Hey. <laughs> oh, hey, love. What's up, Max? Uh, P.M. Oh, get the door. Something smells good. Oh, hey, brother. All right, all right. Yeah, you want something to eat? I'm sure it's enough here. Yeah, I might take you up on that. Well, Bird's still not feeling you? Yeah, you know how it is. When it's rough, it's rough. It's too bad she and her sisters fell out. I really think she needs somebody to talk to right now. But what about you? How's Jack and people's cars going? Well, you know, bro, we got off to a bumpy start. You know, I'm counting on this crazy-ass Lloyd to get us going. Mm. You know, I'm seriously thinking about after we get started, you know, selling Chadway to Alliance. Damn. I don't know how you're going to let it go. I mean, you built Chadway to him, Kenny. Yeah, you know, sooner or later, all good things come to an end, right? I guess you're right. Here, help me set the table, man. It does smell good. You had preschool today. Well, his um his ear was bothering him, so I had to take him to see Dr. Gray. But what did he say? He's gonna be fine. He just gave him some medicine. He's fine. Well, Bird, you know Nyla, she gets her hair done at the shop. No, I don't I don't think we've ever met. I go to Nisi. Oh. And this is my son Jay. <laughs> Hi, Jay. He's cute. Thanks. Nyla works at Parks and Bank. She's helping me get my loan application together. Loan? Oh, right. For the store. Oh, yeah, Parsons is a great bank. It is, and his application really looks good. Look, we better get going. Uh, I'll see you later, little man, all right? Look, I'll come by around 6.30 to check on him. Perfect. All right. Nice meeting you. Oh, nice meeting you, too. And finally, uh, Donovan should be getting that settlement offer on Wilson versus Wholesale discounts by week's end. I expect it to be six figures. Jerry, it sounds like you and your associates have got a well-oiled machine over there. I'm impressed. <laughs> In fact, I was talking to Catherine Burke about your department just yesterday. Were you? And why would you do that? See, we're really slammed over mergers and acquisitions right now. Hmm, how'd you let that happen? It's called the economy. 
Everybody's going bankrupt, being bought and sold. What does that have to do with my associates? Well, this case is too big for my department to handle alone. I mean, these major corporate takeovers have huge labor issues. I mean, you know what kind of a mess it is. So you went to Catherine behind my back and just dumped your case on my staff? Did you even think about consulting me on this? Where should we on a vacation or something? Oh, yes. One personal day is not a vacation. Terry, it's simple. I have a deadline and I need the labor expertise. Doug, my associates and I are saturated right now. You could contract out for labor counsel. You also could have been up front and asked me first. But your guys are up for it. It's about the team. The team? Did you even consider the ripple effect this is going to have in my department? All the way you're running things over there, how bad can it be? I mean, heck, you got time to take a personal day. He said he would be here. Uh, look, I, I don't know. Maybe we should just do it tomorrow. Oh, well, you, you're not scared, are you, Al? No, please. This is coming from a guy who almost shit his pants when an alarm went off. Look, the only thing I'm scared of is you fucking this up. Give me a break. Yeah, whatever. Well, look, we're just gonna have to go without him, okay? No, 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 no. We can do this. Really? Hey! Damn, Lloyd! How long have you been standing there? Long enough. Are you guys headed out to a pool party or something? What you mean? You can lose the rainbow bright colors. The idea is to be invisible, not go to a luau. You guys are gonna give me kill. Hot damn. Well, that's not what we need to hear right now. Not at all, man. Okay, guys. Work off this draft, okay? I have to leave the office for a few hours, but by the time I get back, we should be able to put this to bed. What about the McLaurin ruling from 9 to 5? Oh, that does have some bearing. Why don't you look into it? I'll be back at 10. All right. Is everything set? Yep, Charles. Just called. He'll be downstairs in five minutes. Oh, okay. Um, first, I want you to order my staff some dinner. Mm -hmm. I'll pay for it. Well, do, do, they, do they know where you're going? No. I'm going to turn off my cell. Uh, Terry, do you really think that's such a good idea? I mean, look what happened yesterday. Okay, fine. I'll put it on vibrate. Okay. Okay. It's just... This is Charles's big night, and I don't want anything to ruin it for him. Yeah. You must really like this guy, then. Why do you say that? Oh, I've never seen you do anything like this. Yeah, look, he is slipping off into the night. Well, I'm not being irresponsible, Gloria, if that's what you mean. Okay. Oh, let me get your necklace. No, no. I'll do that in the car. Here. How do I look? Just perfect. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll see you at 10. Okay. okay. Have fun. You all are finally getting it. It's a good thing you started dressing like repo men. That should do it. The emergency brakes on, but I unhooked the connecting cable. Damn, boy, you make this seem so easy. It ain't all that. Let's go. Right. Now, where's Al? I don't know. Where'd you find that dude? I, I can't remember, man. He's been with Tadway 20 ever since I got started. Right. Hey, man, keep it down. Let's go. All right. Come on, man. Hey, what the fuck happened to you? Sorry, man. I had to take a piss. I got nervous. When I get nervous, nature calls. Well, the next time you get that call, you need to put it on hold. So, we did kind of score, though, didn't we? Yeah, just like the repo man. <laughs> hey, the last time I had a rush like this, I scored off of a flea flick in a city championship game. Yeah, well, I wouldn't get too happy. We ain't seen no money yet. Hey, what the fuck? Try it. That's what car you trying to get. Thanks for coming tonight. Really got into it. I see. <laughs> You're not going to sleep with that thing, are you? Mm. Mm. Better sleeping alone. I had no idea you accomplished so much. 
For a young man, you've done a lot. Mm, nothing. Still so much you want to do. Like what? Most importantly, a successful relationship. Uh, <laughs> I made mistakes in my marriage. I walked away from my problems. But I was young. I didn't know how to communicate. Yeah. Relationships. Yeah. They're hard. And scary. Gotta really put yourself out there. That's probably the hardest part. <laughs> it's a risk. But it's a risk worth taking with the right person. Associates were ready for you over an hour ago. God, I'm later than I thought. So, how was it? <laughs> oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> I had a great time. It was a beautiful evening. Gloria, is there any way we can get in touch with Terry? Oh, yes, sir, I didn't realize you were here. There's no problem. Just tell everybody I'll be right in. Oh, I'll make it up tonight. So, yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> you have my file right here. Um, you know, you gave a little speech. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Watch your backs. This is coming through. Uh, Tracy. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Lily says you're doing a segment on wigs today. Um. Yes. Lots of women wear them. And as you can see, they're a great hair care option for working women. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'd like to do. Postpone the wig show and do the segment we originally planned. The one on hair color? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do that. I could do your hair real quick. No problem. Take the wig off and get ready to go on. Okay. No problem. Lily, I hate to draft you at the last minute yeah. again, but you don't have time to do a hair makeover on Tracy. Well, Mr. Thompson, I can do my own hair. What do we have, like 15 minutes? You just... Fire You're not going on, Tracy. You're going home. You can't do that. This is my show. This is my show. Go get some rest. Lily will cover for you. I got the copy right here. Let's have a look at it, Lily. Come on, look. Where's Auntie Bird? Maybe you should call her. Hmm. Now, did she get fired? I don't know. I'm not. Nowadays, hair color strips have become safe, fast, and Who's that? This is your sister's segment, isn't it? I mean, the last I heard. Well, where is she? I don't know. Are you going to get the scoop? She's a grown woman. She can handle it. Let's have a quick cup of coffee. Hey, man, how did it go last night? Lloyd show up? <laughs> oh, man, we recovered three cars. And I'm learning from a pro. Hey, you got any more of that turkey you had on Sunday? Oh, no, no, I don't think so, man. Uh, you know, Maxine made some sandwiches. But uh, anything else in there, you know, you're free to have. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I just feel so at home here. Plus, I'm tired of eating takeout. Uh, I hear you. So, how long are you and Bird gonna play out this uh, separation thing? We're not playing, Kenny. And I wish I could tell you about it. Well, if it's that important, Lamb, you should talk to me about it. You know, tell me something. Hey, Lamb. There's some uh, turkey in the fridge if you want a sandwich. Oh, no thanks, Maxine. Somebody else might want it. Okay. Plus, I mean, you know, with your appetite growing and all. My appetite is not that big, thank you very much. <laughs> Can't keep anything down with this morning sickness. Hey, baby, why don't you take the day off? 
I mean, Malik can survive a day without you. Mm, Malik is working at home today. He's deadlining on a proposal for the daycare program. I've got to take this by his place on my way in. I'll call you from the office. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. If I could get there. Maybe you're all right? Ooh, can you? Maybe you're right. Can, can you take that for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as long as you promise to take them on and off, baby, you need to slow down. Okay, okay, just um, tell him if he has any questions to call me at home. Man, if we had to go through what they do, there wouldn't be no more babies. Yeah, but we still got our own stuff to deal with. What? I mean, where the turkey at? Uh, what turkey you talking about? She talking just about said it was in there, man. Where you can hit the turkey? There ain't no turkey in there. Can I get you anything else? I don't know where else to go. Well, you came to the right place. I just want to get in my car. I want to get in my car. I just want to drive where nobody can find me. What are you running from, Tracy? Hey, talk to me. If I could just get some sleep, I'll be fine. I don't want to have to think about it. So stay here. Look, you can have the bed or the sofa. I mean, whatever you want. Some food. Some food. I'm hungry. I know you like my cooking. I'll make you an omelet. first, okay? Um, no. Look, you can stay here and relax. There's no pressure, I promise. Oh, no, no, I shouldn't be here. I can, I can work it out on my own. Uh, Tracy, you need a friend. I won't push. Um, all right, can I use your bathroom? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, come in. I'm Maxine's brother-in-law at Lamb. We met at the fundraiser. Yeah. Hey, huh. here you go. Uh, Kenny was going to bring it by, but I was in the area, so I... All right, cool. Thanks, man. Hey, and she also wanted me to let you know that, that she'll be at work later. Right. Thanks, man. All right. Listen, all right. Malik, thank you. I'm really... What the fuck? Hey, man, look, it, it, it's, it's not what you think, all right? Uh, what I think? Hey, Bert, what are you, you doing? Look, we were just talking, okay? I was just leaving. That's not what I just said. Hey, come on, man. Look, we... I'm not talking. Come on, man. Look. I'm leaving. Well, she's had I'm a hard leaving. day, all right? Hey, ma'am, I'm leaving. No. I can't believe this shit. You know what? You stay. You stay. I'll leave. I'll go. Let's finish this up now. Because I don't want anything on my mind while I'm enjoying Charles's dinner tonight. Ooh, he cooks for you. This one sounds like a keeper. Well, all right. Next, Everett versus Colby. Everett. Terry. Yeah. I've been asked to inform you that our esteemed senior partner, Nicholas Willis, just landed at O'Hare. He's requested a meeting with all partners present. God. How long? 30 minutes. Clear the boards. Oh, and if I were you, I would cancel whatever pleasures I had on my agenda for tonight, too. Thanks, Doug, but you're not me. I'm sure Charles will understand. Yeah, well, we'll find out soon enough. Charles, but... Cabot's on set. 
all set for the weekend. No cell phones, no no Gloria stopping over with paperwork. I even made sure there's running water. Charles, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to ask for a rain check. There's been an emergency meeting that's come up, and I have to stay late tonight. How late? Well, with Mr. Willis, there's no telling. And, in fact, I probably shouldn't make plans for the weekend either. I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, I can't walk out on my boss, and I can't leave my colleagues unsupported. So what are you telling me, that uh, your career is always going to come first? No, that's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? I'm saying my job's important. Charles, I do have a responsibility to this firm. You know, what do you want me to do? Hey, it's not what I want, Terry. It's what you want. Why don't we just forget it, okay? No. No, just... Let's just forget it. I had when you jacked my SUV last night. Uh, now, wait a minute, man. I didn't jack your SUV. And you need to clear out before I call the police. Man, I saw your truck tow my wheel. Oh, well, maybe if you paid your bills on time, you might still have it. Bitch, where's my car? Look, man, just say calm down and put the tool Don't tell away. me to calm down, Negro. I want to know where my car is. Sitting free in impound. Who the fuck are you? I'll be the author of your death certificate if you don't get the fuck up out of here. Can't win a gunfight with a wrench. Walk your big crusty ass home. Girl, what's going on? Who was that? That was the asshole whose car we repossessed. Damn, it's a good thing I got here in time. Look, you know I'm gonna take the night off. Maxine is not feeling well. You go on. Okay. Helen and I have it covered. That's right, Lloyd. Got your back covered. It's Phil Dobson. Yes? Uh, sorry about you at home, but uh, I've been thinking. Uh, Mr. Dobson, <clears throat> my job means a lot to me. And um, I've, just, I've been under a lot of stress Tracy, lately. Uh, take some time off. We'll tell our audience that you're on vacation. After three months, we'll reevaluate. No, no, three months? Well, I mean, I know I missed a few days, but I, I've, you could yeah, just... Look, we're, we're not canceling your segment. Yeah, Lily's just going to fill in for you until you get back. But we have a contract. Tracy, the best advice I can give you to get some rest. We'll talk later. Miss Jenkins. Hi, it's Bird. Yeah, um, do you think you could watch Jay for um just a few hours? Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll be there in a few minutes. Okay, thank you. No, 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 I, I won't be long. Okay.
Hey, you ready? Meeting's in five minutes. I don't think I can do this, Gloria. I don't think you have much choice. I really thought he was different. Four minutes. They're all alike. Just babies. Even when they hit middle age. This one really had me fooled. Oh. Here are the files you need. Go get them. Anything I can do? No, but, but thank you. You look like you lost a best friend. Yeah, well, it feels like I did. Yeah. Things are worse with you and Bird. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. It's all right. It's not your fault. I, I just found out that Bird uh, is involved with somebody else. That's why you guys split. No. I left the house because she said that she was tired of my street shit coming back to haunt us. I mean, I knew it was going to be hard on her. I just didn't think... That's that why she cheated on you? I don't know why she did that shit. I mean, no matter what she thought I did, there was no reason for her to fuck around with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason. And you never cheated on her? No. Never. Look, I know what it's like to find out that the one you love has been unfaithful. I know it hurts a lot. I'm sorry. Now we sit down while I clean up. Earlier this week, my fellow partners devised a plan to improve the efficiency of my department, transferring a multifunctioning case to labor. Terry, as you know, those assignments were approved by Catherine Burke. Yes, I know, Doug. My point is that I think it's a wonderful idea. In fact, following your lead, I think I found a way to increase the efficiency of the entire firm. Oh, what's your idea, Terry? I've looked over the roster of casework and noticed several cases in labor that also span security, fraud, pensions, real estate, almost every other department in the firm. For instance, Vince Milton's department has a great deal of expertise in insurance fraud. Right? I think it would be more efficient for your department to handle the Kendrick case instead of labor. I mean, you'd spend less time getting up to speed, which means more time for real work to happen. So uh, how many cases would actually apply to this uh, new procedure? But 30%. I think it would streamline the workload throughout the entire firm and allow each associate to focus on their area of expertise. I like the sound of that. Me too. Okay. I'm glad that someone was thinking about the team. in high school. I always thought you'd be boy most likely to succeed. Yeah, you know, I was always hustling. I thought I was going to be a millionaire by the time I was 30. <laughs> You're not 30 yet. You can still get rich. If I could just open the store, I'd be happy. Well, I am sure that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, look, you can't get it either. Be right there. Okay. Bye. That was the babysitter. She said that bird was supposed to pick up Jay hours ago. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bird! 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 Are you 
okay? Yeah. Did you take something? What did you take? What did you take? Some, some cold medicine. I must have made me groggy. Bird, you fell asleep in the tub. Miss Jenkins called and wondered what happened to you. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where's the dad? I spoke to her. He's fine. I'm going to get him. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm tired too, Bird. Mm. You keep blaming what's fucked up on me, but look at you. You almost... You could have drowned in this tub tonight. No. Mm -mm. I mean, you're supposed to be taking care of our son. You can't even take care of yourself. No, stop. I lost my job. Station today. And I couldn't concentrate at work. You can't believe. I'm sorry. Somebody's got to take care of it. I know you weren't expecting to see me. I used the key under the mat. Just before you get mad... Wait, let me... It's my fault. If you're pissed, you have every right to be. I was being unreasonable earlier. Look, it's late, Charles. You didn't have to come all the way over here to apologize. Well, uh, it's a little bit more than that. Well, I've done my part. I think I should just go. Gloria, right. thanks. Couldn't have done it with that. Okay. Bye, Terry. I'll see you tomorrow. Excuse me, I have to... Turn off the oven. I want to burn the biscuits. Wait, you bake biscuits? I had to whip up a second batch for you that you off earlier. <laughs> now I know what you women go through. Oh, my God. Well, well, you know, I have to say, I am really surprised. Here's to the lady who makes me pay more than lip service to trying harder. What do you mean? It was easy for me to say that you were being selfish earlier when you canceled dinner. But what I should have said was that I was disappointed, sad. It uh, came out of name. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> what? That was very mature of you. Mm. So you think you can handle a grown-up? <laughs> oh. Well, they say that women mature faster than men. No, no. <laughs> uh, look, I showed my hand. Okay. I made this list. What I was looking for in a man. Uh, was this the list you were working on when you bit my head off at the coffee shop? No. Oh, you know, for an old man, you've got a very good memory. Smart. Kind, affectionate. Well, what's this one? 